Hi folks, welcome to another week of Bay 46. I'm James Tredinick. Joining us this week, a very special guest, the Wanderers' newest debutante, Liam Reddy. Liam, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Let's start with the weekend just passed, uh, a 1-0 win against Newcastle. Always great to get a win, but you also got yourself a clean sheet. It must have been good. Yeah, definitely. The uh, most important thing was that we won the game. Uh, it was a very important game, and it's always a tough place to go to Newcastle. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, good to get the first clean sheet for West Sydney. You've only played a couple of games at the Wanderers so far, um, but you seem to be settling in nicely. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable playing at the Wanderers? Yeah, definitely. I've uh, been here three, four months now, so uh, very hard training. Uh, you know, I got myself ready. And um, you know, I've been very fortunate to, to get an opportunity. And uh, you know, I know uh, with the squad we've got, and uh, with how Redders has gone this year, that he's pushing me each week. So um, I've got to be at the top of my game uh, every week. So it's uh, it's great competition, and uh, you know, I feel I've settled into the role. And the competition is important for getting the most out of you as a keeper. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, competition across the squads are very good. So. Um, for me, it's, it's not different. So, I mean, uh, Redders is pushing me every day at training, uh, like I push him. So, uh, come match day, you know, uh, Pop has got two goalkeepers there he can choose from. And on the topic of competition, uh, the top of the Hyundai A-League ladder is very close, as we all know. Um, how confident are you that the Wanderers can, uh, can get hold of that top spot and keep it? Yeah, well, we're very confident, but, uh, you know, obviously we know we've got Adelaide this week. Uh, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a crucial game in, in that mix. But, uh, you know, we'll take it one week, at a, one week at a time, but we know we've got it in our own hands. So um, you know, we can control the controllables, and uh, it starts with Adelaide this week. Let's have a look to that game um, against Adelaide. Obviously been in great form in, uh, in recent history. An unfortunate loss for them. Um, how does that change the way that you come into this game, the fact that they lost their last round? Uh, it doesn't change it at all. I think uh, you know we just worry about ourselves and, and what we need to do, uh, and we've worked that we've worked on that uh, during the week at training. Um, you know they've obviously had a purple patch of 13, 14 undefeated games, but you know I mean they're going to be looking to bounce back from uh, their loss on the weekend. But again, we just control what we can control, and um, hopefully we'll get the result on uh, Saturday. Any players in the Adelaide squad that, uh, that have your eye that you're a bit worried about? Yeah, look, I think uh, th their imports, um, they're always they're very good. Um, Bruce Chitta up front works hard. Um, you know, they're going to be a tough team. They're, they're a very good team. And uh, I think to be at the top of the table where they are now with, with us, you need a good team. You don't need, uh, you, obviously, you sprinkle with good individuals, but uh, there's 11 good players in that team. And aside from Adelaide, um, the other teams that are lingering around the top of the ladder, uh, City, Brisbane Raw, um, those sort of guys, do any of those concern you or do you kind of leave that in the back and focus on your own game? Uh, look, we just focus on Adelaide this week and then uh, after that we've got uh, Melbourne victory away. So our focus is Adelaide and then uh, we'll focus on Melbourne. We don't play Melbourne City or Brisbane at the end until uh, uh, semi-finals. So, um, you know, if, if we play them, then we'll focus on them. But this week it's just uh, purely focus on Adelaide. And at this stage, it's looking like the Wanderers will get a home semi, which is great. How important is that, getting a home semi as opposed to playing away? Uh, very important. Uh, I think uh, you look at the, the league and how, how it's been run over the 10, 11 years, I think uh, there's only been a winner from the first or second spot, so they've always had a home semi. So it's a, it's a crucial four-week period for us, and uh, we know that, and we'll be doing everything possible to, uh, to win the minor premiership and, and to get a home semi. And from your own point of view, how good would it be to get your hands on some silverware come season's end? Uh, it's the main reason I came here. Um, you know, obviously... Uh, I left Central Coast and uh, you know, I come here because I wanted to win trophies and um, we've put ourselves and the, and the team's put ourselves in a situation to do that so um, every player's and staff member's uh, focused and driving towards that and uh, that's what we want at the end of the season. Alright Liam, thanks for joining us, it's great to have you here. You can watch Liam and the rest of the Wanderers take on Adelaide United on Saturday night at Wonderland. Kickoff is 7.30pm. If you can't get there, it's being screened on Fox Sports 505. So make sure you watch it. It'll be one hell of a game. Once again, thank you to Liam Reddy. Thanks for being here. My name's James Trudinick. I'll see you next time.